Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is replace O's with X and it is a medium level problem. So the problem statement is a bit confusing because uh, like I was not able to understand the problem statement in my first time. So I'll explain you. They are saying that we have been given a N into M matrix where each cell is either an O or X. right? And now we have to replace all O's with X which are surrounded by X and each O is considered to be surrounded by X if there are X at locations just below, just above, just left and just to the right of it. So this word is wrong here, just to the right is not actually true in this particular case. They are trying to say, if you see the example test cases, let me just uh, take this one. So I'm just saying that that word just is not like the correct word to use here, I believe. Because what do we mean by just? Just means to the adjacent position. So when I say a position just above it, I would mean this particular position, right? And when I say just right to the cell, I would mean this particular position to the right of it, right? This is what I believe is the meaning of just to the above and so on. Now, what they're actually trying to say is there can be any X above it, right? So for example, you see that there is an X above these O's. So above this O is an X and above this O is also an X to the top and above this O is also an X to the top, right? So this would be considered an X above it. Similarly, if I talk about this particular O, there is an X to the right of it, right? So you will see this is the X to the right of it. And similarly for downwards, there is an X and each of these O's have an X to the left of it as well, right? So you see there are actually covered by the X's on all sides. It is not just above or just adjacent to it, but there are some X that are surrounding these O's, right? This is what they're trying to say. So the same problem can be viewed in a little different manner as well. So let me just draw it. So let's say you have a grid like this, right? So it is a five into four grid, right? So now uh, I can mark these uh, X as zeros. So this is zero, this is zero, this is zero, zero, zero. This is going to be one, zero, 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 one, one, zero. And then we have zero, 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 right now you can consider these ones to be some islands right so this one is an island right and these 0 is water right so i'm trying to reduce this problem to some problem which you must have already solved right so this is a very uh, popular problem where there are some islands they may be disconnected right and there is some water now we have to Tell what are those islands that are covered by water on all the sides. This is the whole summary of this particular problem. So for example, this is an island. This is an island. This is a part of the island and this also. But you see this land is covered by water on all the sides, right? So I have to convert them to all zeros or all X in this particular case, right? Whereas if you see these islands, if you see these islands, these are not covered by water on all the sides. Now, how do I solve this particular problem? Now there is one thing for sure, all the land lying on the borders, that is this particular column and this column, that is the 0th column and the m minus 1th column. Similarly, all the islands lying on the 0th row and the n minus 1th row will definitely be not surrounded by water, right? Now if I know that this is not surrounded by water, then all the ones that are connected to this particular one will also be not surrounded by water because there will be at least one direction with the help of which they will be not surrounded. For example, if I have this one right here and I have this some other one, right? So if the other zeros are like this, there is one thing for sure that if this is connected to this, directly connected to this, then definitely there is at least one direction for this particular one where there is not a zero. Otherwise they could have never been connected, right? So that one direction will help me determine that this one is not going to be changed later. So this is exactly what I have to do. What I can do is I can take all these four directions. So the first direction is the zeroth column, then the m minus oneth column, then the zeroth row and the n minus oneth row. Wherever I encounter a one, or in this case specifically, wherever I encounter a O, right? So like this, I will start a DFS from that particular position. 
now all the o's that are connected to this particular o will definitely be not covered by x on all the sides right if they are not covered by x on all the sides i don't have to change them otherwise if they are covered then they will never be reached from this particular o so for example from this o i cannot reach to this particular o right similarly these o's will never be reached and that means they are covered by x on all the sides so now the problem reduces to applying a simple dfs from these four sides that is the zeroth column m minus oneth column zeroth row and n minus oneth row so i believe that is it for this video there is nothing much about explaining this particular problem because you just have to um, apply simple dfs right and how do we apply it in a grid we will generally use two arrays dx and dy so the only purpose of this array is to easily help us determine all the four directions or all the direction in which we want to go right so for example if i want to go up my x or my row value row value is going to get decremented by 1 and my column value is not going to change if i want to go to left my row value is not going to change my column value is going to get decremented by 1 right similarly i'll have such things for all the four directions and whenever i want to go in one particular direction i can find the new coordinate as x plus dx of i and y plus dy of i so this i is going to be a variable which is going to iterate from 0 to less than 4 because there are four possible directions right now let us see how we can solve this problem programmatically so you see what I've done is I've created two arrays that is dx and dy. So I believe that you must already be familiar with this and that means direct the directions as well. So for example, when the x or the row does not change, right, and the column gets decremented by one, I'm going to move to the left. If my x does not change and my column gets incremented by one, that is when I'm going to move to the right. If my row is going to get decremented by one and my column doesn't change, so it is going to be up and if my row in gets incremented by one that means i'm going down right so this is something that you need to know right now i have created two double dimensional vectors both are boolean vectors and that is change and visited so change is going to tell me whether i need to change the current coordinate or not and initially all of them are set to one or all of them are set to true now visited is going to be false for all the values now I have this valid function and this dfs function here. We'll discuss it in a while, but let us see what I've done here down. Right now, I'm just going to traverse through all the rows from zero to n, and if the i comma zeroth coordinate, that is, that means I am trying for the zeroth column. If this i comma zero coordinate is valid, I'm going to start a dfs from here. Similarly, if i comma m minus one coordinate is valid, that is when I'm going to start a dfs from that particular coordinate. Right, so I am checking for 0th column and m minus 1th column. Now similarly, I am just traversing through all the columns now. So I am checking valid 0, i. So this way, I am just going to check the 0th row now. Right, so if the 0, i is valid, I am going to start a DFS from here. Similarly, for n minus 1th row, if this n minus 1, comma i is valid, I am going to start a DFS from there. After all the things have been done, I am just going to traverse the whole grid. And if change of ij is true, that means I have to set this particular coordinate as x, right? And at the end, I can just run my matrix. So let us see what is inside this DFS and valid function. So valid function, the first condition is just for checking whether x comma y lies inside the grid or not, right? So if this condition is true, that means the coordinate x comma y lies outside the grid and I have to return 0. Now, if it is already visited, then I also I have to return 0. I don't need to visit it again. Now, I can only visit that particular coordinate if the value at this coordinate x comma y is equal to o right so if this is equal this is going to turn true otherwise it is going to return false now inside my valid function i'm going to mark my visited as one and i'm going to mark my change as zero right so i was starting from all the corners so whenever i encounter an o from the corner that means i have to mark it as zero that means this value should not change right now i'm just going in all the four directions and if this new direction nx comma ny is valid i'm going to start a dfs from here right so this was all about this particular problem let me just quickly summarize this and show you that this particular code works so you see passes all the test cases and the solution is absolutely correct i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like for this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement for this particular video really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video was actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems 
So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of cost and can also subscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.